certainly glad you could join me again today for a, another watercolour workshop this is clear water I'm putting on the paper the paper is £130 Fabriano watercolour paper I'm using a large Ron Ranson hike and I've got my usual colours of raw sienna, burnt umber, light red ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey and alizarin crimson this is raw sienna going on now background colour this is a painting of Loch Etive you'll have to forgive my pronunciation I'm not quite sure how it's said this is ultramarine going on it's actually a mixture of ultramarine and pines grey I'm just mixing some alizarin crimson into the mix just to create some nice little clouds in the sky a bit more there in the bottom which will be the lock, the water reflecting the sky I try and put it in at the same time, it's just a, it makes life a lot easier. The paper stretched slightly so I'm just refixing it on the right hand side with the bulldog clips. You can stretch it before you start to paint but I, I just like to do it as I go along. These are the hills and mountains in the background about to go in now with the big hike using the same colours as I did for the clouds that's mainly pines grey and alizarin crimson I like to, I like to pretty much work out the painting as I go along. I, I don't bother doing pencil sketches before. I mean, it, it makes, by all means, do it if it if it makes it easy for you. bit of raw sienna there in the mix now this is the closer hill on the left hand side so it's a stronger colour. There's going to be a bit of detail in this. There's going to be a few trees which I'll put in shortly. Just trying to vary the colour slightly to keep it interesting. It's just various mixes of um, raw sienna, ultramarine. Maybe it's such a lemon yellow. Now these are the trees going in, this is a, a stronger mix of lemon yellow and pines grey just to help make them stand out there on the, uh, on the hillside as they work their way down towards the lock some bigger ones going in now as it gets closer to the water's edge and close to the viewer just using the corner of the large hike brush lemon yellow and pines grey nice and strong 
few more on the far side there. That that shows further away, so I don't want to make them stand out too much because it's more distance. Yeah, it's a bit, bit too light that mix because it, it, it just doesn't stand out at all. I need to make that a little bit stronger. A bit more Payne's grey in there makes it stand out a bit more. And these are the trees and bushes and foliage just by the edge of the lock. going to put the land in now by the water's edge where the hillside meets the lock itself this is just various mixes raw sienna lemon yellow just a touch of ultramarine just darkening up a little bit with the ultramarine then paper stretched slightly so I'm just refixing it on the uh, right hand side with the bulldog clips just to keep it nice and flat Just using the, uh, the bringing the height to a straight edge and just just a few dips and dabs here and there. Just leaving little little white areas untouched just adds a bit of interest, bit of um, bit of mystery. Could be anything really. So putting the the far the, the distant hills in using the same mix as the clouds it just helps push the push it further back into the distance and brings the um the foreground left hand side hills for closer towards the viewer. This is a darker mix now, this is um burnt umber and ultramarine dark this is represents the banks the the banks by the water's edge. I'm just wetting wetting the paper now just to put the the reflections into the water of the hills and the trees. Not being too fussy. Just wet the part and then just pull it down. Nice and simple with a hike. Slightly stronger mix. It's mainly lemon yellow and, and pines grey with a bit of raw sienna. Just soaking up there uh, some of the water that tends to stay, uh, tends to gather at the bottom of the piper. I want to put the uh, the foreground shore in now. So before I do that, I want to make sure it's just nice and dry. The hair dryer comes in handy. Yeah. Stays waiting around for five minutes, waiting for it to dry. Just to help save time. I just want to strengthen those far banks just to help separate the, the land from the water just to de define, the, define it a bit better
This is just going to be a very loose looking jetty. I'll switch to the three quarter inch flat. Just helps, makes it easy to get those sharp edges, those straight lines. Just dips and dabs. I'm not worrying too much about detail there. Just put, uh, pulling down some reflections into the wall, just a very easy way. That's the jet in. I just want to put it in the foreground shore. I'm just going to use a dark mix, mainly burnt umber and ultramarine. I'm running out of space on the paper to be able to, to put the shore in. I should have maybe done the jetty slightly further up. Especially when you consider that if this ends up in a mount and a frame. That's why whenever you sign your paintings, don't forget, don't put them right in the very corner because once they are in the mounts and the frame, you're never going to see them. Just putting in some of the uh, the reeds and grasses by the river's edge with the chisel edged hake using the dark mix. I think that's all that's left to do now is put the signature on. I'm using the number three rigger. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.